Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. Today I've got a cool product to show you. It's the Smart Garage Door Kit 2 by Yolink. Consists of two unique devices in this package. We're gonna show you today. It's got this unique peel and stick finger. As you can see, it's motorized. Really unique. And that's gonna press the garage door button on your wall. Along with this thing, it's gonna work. This is a garage door sensor to tell it if it's open or closed. If it's vertical like this, it's gonna show your garage door is closed. And when your garage door goes up, the sensor now picks up that your garage door is open. So stick around guys, let's take a closer look. All right guys, we're back with our new product by Yolink, the Yolink Finger Garage Door Opener. Really unique device with the sensor comes along with it. And with this unique device, why I'm saying it's unique is there's no need for a ladder, no need to do any wiring to your garage door motor, no need to climb up there and see what model number garage door opener you have because this is gonna be compatible with all garage door openers if your garage door opener has a button on the wall, this finger is gonna be able to press that button. Also, there's no hidden fees with the Yolink garage door opener, smart garage door opener. You can operate this from around your home or anywhere around the world to open up your garage door for someone to leave a package in or to enter your home while you're away. You can monitor this on your smartphone there's just a few minor setup procedures, which we're going to go over right now. This you can set up on your smartphone. So let's get to it. Okay, so you want to open up your Yolink app after you download the app from the Google Play Store or Apple iStore. Open up Yolink, create your device if you haven't already. You're also going to need to purchase separately the Yolink Hub, which is gonna come in handy in the future because they have a wide variety of smart long range devices that you can use all around your house or your property because of the long range technology. But right now we're gonna hook up the smart uh, Yolink finger to our garage door. So we're gonna add a device, press the add device button or the QR scan code button at the top right corner next to the bell. We're gonna scan our first device, the smart sensor part and you scan it with their QR code technology. There's our QR code on the front there. Go ahead and scan that. And we're gonna name this uh, garage door sensor is good. I'm just gonna add something in front of this so I can find it easily. Uh, YL in front of it for Yolink garage door sensor. Save room, I can put it in whatever room I want. In this case, I have it in garage and press the check mark at the top right corner of your app. And I'm gonna save this in the favorite screen. So press the heart button and then press bind device button. Device has been bound and boom, this is connected. We're gonna hit done. Now we're gonna add our next device, which is the actual Yolink finger. We're gonna do the same thing. Press the scan button at the top right corner next to the bell. Scan the QR code on the front of your Yolink finger. I'm gonna rename this to YL Garage Door. That way I can find it easily within Alexa because it will work with Alexa as well. Hit save button. It's in the garage room, good. And I'm gonna hit this to favorite screen as well and press bind device button. And we wanna connect it to our garage door sensor. So we'll select it in this list here at the very bottom. YL garage door sensor, press that, select that and hit the check mark at the top right corner of the app. 
and we're, we've successfully added this product. Device is online. We're online now, guys. Hit done. And there is our Yolink Garage Door Smart Controller. You can open up the app. You can check it out. You can open and close it by pressing that button. When this is vertical like this, it shows the door is closed. If you tilt it like that, it'll show you that the door is now open. Easy as that, guys. The setup is very easy to do. It only takes a couple minutes. Now let's go out and mount this. All it is is peel and stick for both pieces. Follow me. Let's go do it. All right, guys. We're out in my garage here. I've got two doors. So I need two of these sets and I've already uh, programmed or set up this, the second set behind the scenes. And now we're out here. It's as easy as taking your Yolink finger, smart finger, and peeling the back off and sticking it right next to your garage door opener so that finger can press the button for you from your smartphone. But in my case, I'm gonna do mine a little bit more in a unique way because I reached in, dug through my junk drawer inside the house. So I found a spare remote controller in my junk drawer. And so I figured I'm gonna make it a cleaner setup so that the Yodlink finger is not in front of my button when I wanna reach up and press it uh, right near my door. This I can set up anywhere else in my garage. So I found a spot right here on the side of my cabinet. I've cleaned it with alcohol and we're gonna set this up right here. Take a look. Good right there got them nice and straight the big button is for my main garage door over there and the second middle button is for my single garage door I did label them with a the label maker as well as you can see there nice clean setup now we've got to stick our garage door sensor so it knows if it's open or closed let's do that all right I found a nice spot here now when you mount these garage door sensors make sure you can read the logo the Yolink logo like this don't mount it like this don't mount it upside down don't do that mount it horizontally like this but vertically onto the garage door make sure you've got it nice and clean I've got some alcohol here so that will clean and dry the area real quick go ahead and peel the tape off the back of your sensor make sure you've got it right side up like that and stick it on there firmly that one's done now let me do the other one that looks like a nice spot right here clean that with alcohol almost done guys stick with me Peel off the sticky tape. Make sure you can read the logo, Yolink, right side up. Press it firmly. Complete. Your whole setup is complete. 
Now, before the operation of your device for the first time, make sure these fingers are resting right on top of the button. Not pushing it, but just barely resting on it. And you can do that with the up and down little arrow buttons on the controller. So get them right on top of that button lined up, right there, so that when it's actuated and it's pressed, that finger is gonna quickly press that button. All right, I've got my app open, YoLink app. Do that. I'm gonna go into my YoLink garage door first. It says it's closed. We're getting a reading that it is closed successfully with our sensor mounted. I'm gonna press the open button. Did you see the finger? So it should show the garage door open now as it's opening. There it is, opening. All right, so we're open. Let's point over this way now. Now we're gonna press close, press that close button. It activated the finger and our garage door is now closing. Just wanna test the single garage door now. So I'm gonna go back into my favorites on the YoLink app because I made them my favorites so I can find the garage door controllers easily. I'm gonna go into single garage door. It says it's closed. I'm gonna press the open button. There we have it. Now let's go take another closer look at this app and see what else, what other options do we have with this unique garage door control device. All right, let's take a closer look at the YoLink app and our new garage door openers on the app. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the YoLink app now. Go to my favorites down at the bottom left corner, select that heart, favorites, and there are my two garage door smart openers now, along with my alarm that I have in my favorites. I can always set that alarm off if I want, if I see anybody tampering with the, the house while I'm away. But anyway, let's uh, select the YoLink garage door first, press that, select that app, and we've got it open. We can simply see here visually now too that the garage door is now closed, shows the garage door closed with the little logo there, and it does state that it's closed and it's got a button if you want to open it. Down at the bottom you'll see history if you select that. This will show all the times your garage doors open and close throughout the day, throughout the month. Right now I pressed the, the cleanup button ahead of time because it, we just had those few test samples out there when we first took it up. But if you press cleanup at the top right corner, uh, here you can uh, select all if you want or however much you want to clean up on it. So I select it all and it cleaned it all out. So if we go back, the top left arrow, press that. If we go up to now from the main screen, at the top there you see the controller battery life and you also see the sensor on the door battery life. So you can tell if those get low or are close to low, you can go ahead and replace the batteries on them because remember there's no wires on this system. It's all battery operated. So if we go to the top right corner where the three dots are, select that for the details. Here you can rename your device if you like. You've got alerts down here about the fourth option down. Press on alert. Right now I have it don't alert because I get so many different alerts around my uh, smart home. Now I don't need to know every time my garage door opens or closes, but you can do that whenever it opens only or closes only. Uh, I'm going to select don't alert and press the check mark at the top right corner. And then we can get a reminder. I do like this feature for sure. In case the garage door is open before you go to bed or something and it's been open for over a half hour or however many minutes you can select here, it'll send you alert on your smart device that, hey, your garage door is still open. Do you want to close it? So I'm gonna make that open reminder for 30 minutes, or you can select off if you don't even wanna know if it's open for a long period of time. But I'm gonna select it for 30 minutes and press the check mark in the top right corner. And we'll go back into our details. Right there again, 
We've got the history. We've got the battery life there. It shows the state of the garage door is closed currently. And we've got the sensor that it's hooked up to. It's hooked up to the proper door sensor that's stuck to the garage door. And we've got the model number, device information. We got also sent signal intensity. Right now it's strong with Yolink devices. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna get either a strong or a good signal. And uh, because it's long range wireless technology. And then at the bottom firmware, if you press select that, it'll tell you if there's a firmware upgrade to improve the device even more. If you go up here, go back into sensor, I checked the firmware on this one and it's upgrading currently, as you can see here. It says it takes about 15 minutes and signal is good and then we'll be all set. So then we can go out and go out again, top left corner arrow, and we go back, go back one more time, and we're back to our main screen. So guys, did you like this new Yolink product? The new Yolink Smart Garage Door Finger? Very easy to install, no ladders, no wires, no hidden fees. Next time you're out on your walk with your dog or bike riding and you come back home, You'll thank me when you have the YoLink Smart app on your phone and you just press that button on your smartphone and you gain instant access to your home through your garage door. Guys, thank you for tuning in again and seeing another one of my videos. Next time, tune in because I'm going to show you how to make this YoLink garage door even smarter through Alexa and Alexa routines. For now, I'll see you on the next one. Got an ache inside of me. It's a deep hole where I bleed. Oh, can I see you lit? You're like an ocean without land. Not a single grain of sand.